All right, we're back with the Bloodborne walkthrough. We're going to do the research hall and the DLC. It's going to be great. But before I do that, I've decided to level my character up a little bit more and go to 130. You don't need to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to take Arcane up to 30, and we're going to stop there. So I got one. Th so I got 30 on Arcane. And the reason I'm doing this is so that I get a little bit more out of my Legarius wheel. My character's not really built around it. It's not a strength arcane character because I got a lot of skill that I ultimately didn't need. So it really only helped me with my wheel. So where is my wheel? So you can see what I have on my wheel. So we can test it out. I guess I guess I got to do the doll. There, we get 904 with one spinning R2. So let's go to the research hall and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Are there any weapons in the research hall? I guess, eh, I was gonna say the church pick is there, but it's not really. Which we do need to pick up that weapon. Thank you for the blue elixirs, they will be useful. And then we can get this. Chunk. And then I think those are some chunks over there, too. So let's pick up those chunks. You can never go wrong with more chunks, am I right? The research hall is kind of an annoying area. It's... Uh, how do I describe it? It's kind of like one big maze. See, we get one R1 gives me 700 damage. Ah. So at least I'm one-shotting everything with it, which is good to see. I did not want to try and attack you. I'm used to doing a lot more damage with this weapon. <laughs> when you've got 99 strength and 99 arcane, and the top tier nourishing gems, this weapon is stupid. And I love it. I don't think this weapon got enough appreciation though. And I think it's because most people just got stuck using the sock lever. And they think every weapon's the sock lever. Meaning that they gem it the same way, they play with it the same way. And the wheel's just not that weapon. You just can't, you can't turn the wheel into a sock lever. You gotta put in the time and effort. Now you guys are annoying. One of the best things about this weapon is the dash attack. You get a triple hit with it. And if you got rapid poison on the wheel, you can get rapid poison built up really quick. And you can get big boy damage at low blood levels. This guy's tanky. Ah, give me my heels. Jethro. Now, I think, yes, this way. This There's two ways to get up here, and one of them's this way. And as you can see, there's an item right there, and I think you can jump this. I'm going to try it. Ah, this is going to not go well, is it? Nope. Nope, did not go. I can do it once. Shut up. I'm going to try and make this jump. Dang it, I didn't do it again. All right, that's it. 
Let's just move forward. Get my wheel back out. I believe this weapon has the highest strength requirement. Which should make sense. I mean, look how big it is. Quick silver bullets. Uh, let's see here. Dirty damp gem. This is not where I wanted to be. I think you need to raise the, the staircase first. One of these days I'll get the jumping attack down. Here, to avoid this guy from shooting you off the ledge, you can drink one of these. Now I'm in incognito. It's actually been a while since I've done this. Watch out for that pressure plate. I usually just speed run the, uh, the research hall. These guys have no head, but they have ton of poise. Eight hundred damage per jumping attack. Come on, man. Jump. <sighs> Ooh, shoot. There's these bean bags in this room. I forgot about them. And you can get the enlarged head. One enlarged head, please. Here. I think the, the enlarged head has terrible stats on it. Um, it's got a lot of blunt resistance and a lot of arcane. So that's pretty much it. So if you want to build an anti-wheel build. That'd be the thing to wear, I guess. Because the Ligarius wheel is all blunt and all arcane. I'm surprised he was able to tank that. But we can charge up. fall down here. You can pick up some more armor, I believe. Where is the armor? There we are. These guys jump like fleas. Best avoid them. Plip, plop, plip, plop. He doesn't give anything. He just gives you some riveting dialogue. Uh, not yet. This leads nowhere. Man, this place is a lot bigger than I remember it. And that's because I always run through it. Can you parry these guys? I never do it. And so I guess what we'll do now is activate the shortcut. There's a shortcut and an NPC that we need to talk to. I like how the trick mode for the wheel is dualies. I thought that was a funny touch. Could you do something for me? 
Poor Adeline. I mean, I don't know what's going on here, but it can't be good. Yeah, yeah, she wants brain fluid. So it's a quest line, essentially. Throughout this research hall, you will find brain fluid. And we must find brain fluid for her. And then you'll get a very special item in which we, we probably should pick up. So as we go up here, we can actually go out this way. And I forget what, what all's up here. Heck of a walk through. Oh, this is where our first brain fluid is. Wheeling and dealing. Five sedatives. Lady Maria, I'm a Robin. Will I ever curl up? Oh, I can't read that fast. This crazy beanbag chair. The beanbags give you brain fluid. So we will take this back to Adeline. Uh, how do I get down, actually? <laughs> I don't remember. Yes, I think we have to run this way. Nope, not happening. That's one way to get down, I suppose. Anyway, while we're down here, we'll give her the brain fluid. I don't hear anything sticky. Twenty thirteen, nice. Oh, is that gonna kill me? No. I remember the year twenty thirteen, and many people do as well. Hold on, wait a minute. I forget. How am I supposed to get up again? Oh, come on, brain. Do your thing. You come out here. I've done this run back so many times, I can't believe I forgot what to do. Oh, I remember now. You come up this way. <laughs> Good on you, brain. Alright, so now we need to walk across some more beams. Channeling some on Orlando vibes. But there's a bird up here. Do a very dangerous jumping attack. Fall to our death. And pull this lever. Or I guess push the lever. And then this will raise the entire staircase up one level. So now you can access more areas. Uh, let me think. I need to go talk to this beanbag. Splish, splash, splish, splash. Whack. Thank you for the brain fluid. Cowabunga. I think this bird gives you, yeah, the other guidance rune. The Sound of Water. Isn't that a movie? Wasn't there a movie that came out a few years ago called... The, no, I'm thinking of The Shape of Water. I remember that movie. Alright, so now that we're here... Ooh, what do we do? <laughs> uh, we need to go down a ladder. That's what we need to do.
and we'll pick up a very special gem that only appears here. The Fine Strike Gem. You cannot get Fine Strike Gems in this game. This is the only Fine Strike Gem that exists. And a Fine Strike Gem, I believe, increases your counter damage against enemies. Now well, he just yeeted himself off. Okay, so now can we get that one item? Or does it still elude us? I think it eludes us. The damage, the damage ain't that bad, to be honest. For what scaling and gems I have. You don't get that much more damage. When you have something like 50 strength and 50 arcane. Alright, so now we can go this way. But I need to pick up a key. And the key is over there. And that kind of upsets me. So let's make this jump. And pick up the lock shield. One of the few shields in the game. Lock shield's pretty good for elemental damage. But at the same time, it's like, uh, just parry and dodge. <laughs> the game's more fun when you parry and dodge. Ah, this is what we want. Okay, now I believe we have everything here. Well, first off, let's give the murky fluid to Adeline. We'll start with that. And we need her to give us a key that lets us unlock a special door. So let's go talk to Adeline. <sighs> All right. Yes, give me the blood. Okay, I guess I was wrong. You do need to take the blood because otherwise she won't uh she won't pick up the brain fluid that we've got for her. Yes, yes, yes. We know your story. Alright, we're going to reload the area. She's being finicky. I don't know why she does this. Sometimes she just won't cooperate. And if she doesn't cooperate, you just reload the area. Hey, look who it is, Simon. Here is what you must do. Climb the astral clock tower and kill Maria. Lethal gem, another gem that you can, o you can only get here. Uh, let's see, yeah. Lethal gems, by the way, they um, increase rally potential. Okay, Adeline. Dude, take the blood. Or take the amoeba. Okay. We will come back. But in the meantime, we will use the cell key to pick up some items down here. Because Adeline has decided not to give us the key, apparently. <laughs> Send the elevator back up. That's a big chair. Get Lawrence's skull. Send the elevator back down. And ride with it. Bump, bada bump, 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 bump. Executioner's. Nope, just church cannon. I thought it was called the Executioner's Cannon. My bad. I think the Executioner's. I did it again. The church cannon. I believe that cannon is good at low blood level, but when you, you know, get higher and higher blood levels, the regular cannon from the base game is the one you want to use. Okay, so now that we have the key, we can unlock this cell, and there's an NPC in here, so we need to wheel and deal. What? Dude. 
dude. This dude's a gun spammer. Thank you for the church pick. Yes, yes, yes. Just let me in. What's this guy's name again? Yamamura. That's his name. And unfortunately, the only way to get his clothes is we must assassinate him. I don't want to kill Yamamura. But it must be done. So one more check before I freaking get out of here. I want you to take the murky fluid. Oh, God. All right, we're going back to the dream. Freaking NPC's quest line's busted. It's probably not busted. I'm just not smart enough to figure it out. Repair. Okay, so... The one thing that we haven't bought... I believe we've gotten everything here. You can pick up all this. But we don't have the piercing rifle, so let's buy it. All right, back to the nightmare. All right. Will you finally... Yes, okay, she's talking to me now. Yeah, you want brain fluid, don't you? She should give us the key now. Yeah, this is it. A balcony key. Nice. Alright, so now we can don some new garb. Let's do Yamamura's set. I like Yamamura's set. I think it's underappreciated. You don't see too many people wear it. But then again, you don't really see too many people play Bloodborne these days. Come down here. Now these goobers, whatever you want to call them, the patients, they can be kind of tra problematic. So we need to make our lives a bit easier and drink a little uh, blue elixir. The reason they're bad is because they can uh, shoot spells at you. I just noticed something. They sound an awful lot like the old hunters. Well, not that one, but you know what I mean. And the reason we come up here is because we get a hunter tool called Black Sky Eye. Black Sky Eye is pretty good. It allows you to shoot an eyeball. Go through the brightest window. Get some free chunks. And I believe in this chest is a gem, and I think it's a pulsing gem. So let me see if I can make this. Nice. Pulsing Damp Blood Gem. Pulsing Gems um, heal your character. We're ready to advance forward. So we have a couple different options of what we can do here. We can go revisit Spicy Cleric Beast. Or we can go visit Lady Maria. And I think I'm going to go visit Lady Maria. Drip, drop, drip, drop. Man, the bottom of the sea is one of the most fascinating places on planet Earth. They sent a rover down at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Which I think is like several thousand. Uh, how deep is it? Isn't it like 30,000 feet or something insane? Below the ocean? I know you can fit Mount Everest in there. But they speculated that uh, life could not live down there. It'd be like the surface of the moon because the water pressure is too heavy. Or too much. But as it turns out, there was stuff down there. But it's very primitive. They're not, I don't think people quite sure, they have an idea of like how those creatures are able to live down there. Alright, let's pop a beast blood pellet. It's some molecule that allows cells to work because the, 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 the problem is that the water pressure causes the proteins to bunch together and they can't work properly. And essentially it crushes them. But a lot of the stuff that lives down there they have a special molecule that keeps the protein separated. See if I can use this beast meter to my advantage. I 
want to get a fully charged R2. I wanted a backstab, dang it. I guess I'm not going to get my visceral, am I? Of course you would do that, wouldn't you? Can you get up? I hate this boss. <laughs> That was an accident. <laughs> I parried by accident. Those jumping attacks do... Big boy damage. Ah, living failures. Never change. I'm getting 1,097 AR. I'm not sure why they added this boss fight. It didn't need to be here. Nobody really liked it. The music's good, though. Hello, Maria. It is time that we dance. But let me do a fashion change. Butcher set. Butcher set. Butcher set. Butcher trousers. You thought I was going to say set. Simon has asked for me to kill you, you seven-foot Amazon woman. Why is she so tall? I think all bosses are supposed to be tall, though. She's awfully pale. Probably why she's a corpse. Corpses are generally pale. My curiosity will never be liberated. I'll give you the business end of this wheel, woman. You are vile blood scum. I'll tank it. I don't care. Nah, I guess I was lucky there. There, there's that full beast meter. One of the perks of the wheel. I want you to jump. I'll, pay, I'll tank it. Nope, I'll kill you first. <laughs> the play-by-play -play replay. Now you jump at the very end. Janky controls, man. Celestial dial. Absolute savage weapon before I need to go back this way because I need to pick up a very specific thing from Adeline And I've also apparently lost 200,000 souls from earlier that I never picked up So let's go get them where in God's name are they? They're like near where Yeah, they're right up there, okay, they're near where the grandpa with the machine gun is Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So she's still going insane. So while she's having a panic attack, we are going to go fight Lawrence, the first Vicar. And when we come back, we'll pick up whatever she drops for us. The very first time... Ah, I've told this story so many times. I've killed... The very first time I fought Lawrence, I killed him first try. And I felt pretty accomplished by it. Because everyone said he was legendary. He was legendarily difficult. But... 
on New Game Plus, he was a different story. He does so much damage. This run back is also not very fun either. They deliberately made it annoying. Can I use... I can't. I need 40 arcane for a call beyond. Which bites. I like call beyond. Beast blood pellet. We'll charge up. Because why not? This is one of my un... I think this cutscene here is underappreciated. I like this cutscene. There's something about it. Lawrence with the forever migraine. He opened up with two grab attacks, I see. But my wheel doesn't give a fuck. And he lost his legs. Poor Lawrence, it can't catch a break. Lost his skull and his legs. Ooh. Oh, don't die. Please, not at the end. That would be bad. That's right, Lawrence. And he gives you the Beast Embrace rune, which is a pretty cool rune if you ask me. You will see what it does here in a second. Now try killing Lawrence with the wheel at New Game Plus 7. Then talk to me. Let's see, Beast Embrace. I am now a wolf. Let's go talk to Adeline. This is the episode that will not end. Oh, now I'm annoyed. I gave her the brain fluid. Let's reload. I, she has to do something very specific in order to progress the quest. And I thought she would have been doing it by now, but I guess not. Ah, yes, finally. She's now moved into this little corner. She wants one more brain fluid, and unfortunately there's no other source of brain fluid in this area. And so the only source of brain fluid that exists is her. But she springs right back up. Good old milkweed. And then she passes on. Why does she have to die? I never understood that. I guess that's soul's logic, everyone has to die. But we need milkweed in order to get another item, so we're gonna go do that real quick. And the reason I like milkweed is that now you are cauliflower. Those runes do other things too, it's not like they do one specific thing like uh, 
change the shape of your head. I believe the beast rune increases beasthood, yeah. which means it gives you a, a bigger beast bar. And I think it also decreases fall damage, if I'm correct. And then milkweed increases item discovery and it lets you use a specific weapon. It also glows in the dark. One lead elixir served a pot. Atonement for the wretches. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know Bergenworth is evil. So the reason I wanted to put on Milkweed real quick is because this guy here at the entrance to the fishing hamlet, he gives you a specific dialogue if you wear it, and then he also gives you an item when he's done rambling. Please finish rambling. Where are you going, old man? Thank you. A cursed brew. Alright, now it's time for the fishing hamlet.